everyone so I'm doing a get ready with me today my hair is a freaking mess so I'm gonna try and make my face look as good as possible I'm gonna start with this super goop CC cream it's a daily correct and it has omega-3s and omega-6 don't know what that does for the face um, I'm not using a primer just because I'm not in the mood really I just kind of want to I just want something quick that would kind of even out my face a little bit and I love this CC cream it's so nice so I'm just gonna put that on with beauty blender it is a little dark for my skin so obviously not gonna have to worry about bronzing anything up but once I put my powder on it usually kind of evens it out mm -hmm. got a little on my eyelids my phone is buzzing get on my forehead into the hairline maybe look way way darker i think this is obviously something that i got in the summertime because it is really tan right now i don't know if it's showing up on camera how tan it got but it looks it looks kind of dark this piece of hair is killing me i'm just leaving it uh, I have primer on my eyelids already. I did that off camera just because I was grabbing stuff and figured I might as well. So now I'm going to take a angled fluffy brush and I'm going to take this brown pigment from Imi. I don't think I've ever used it before. So we're going to see how this works. Oh, it's really dark. Okay, so I'm going to take whatever's in the lid and just use it as my crease color. There's hair on my brush. I feel like this is going to kind of end up being a 90s grungy look because it's going to be a kind of muted cool tone dark colors and I have brown lipstick set out as what I'm going to wear on my lips so that created a really nice defined crease I like that color I have to use that one more now that I know that's the problem is I buy all this makeup and then I forget I have it or I buy something else, become obsessed with that and then never use the other stuff. So now I'm going to use this color tattoo and it's matte and this is in Vintage Plum. Put that on a fluffy or flat brush. Sorry. And just going to pack that on my eyelid. Use it as a shadow and kind of blend it out with my fingers to make it more even. I don't know why it's just this color I don't know if it's because it's matte it always comes out really patchy and I have to blend it with my finger so apply the rest of that on this lid and then blend it in with my finger that's not bad I like that transition I don't know if you guys can see how the it's just like a gradual kind of shift. It's really pretty. Okay. Highlighting my lids now with a white pencil. I'm just going to put a little bit under my brow. I haven't even done my brows yet. But I don't want a super bright highlight. So I'm just going to kind of score it underneath my brow here. And that's really, that makes it really subtle. I'm just going to use my brow mascara, I'm not in the center at all, uh, to put that over top of my eyebrows, just to give them a little color and fill them in a little bit. This one, one is way darker than the other. Okay, there is that. So I was going to use a black liner, but I found this really pretty bronze liner, and I think it'll look really cool with the purple so my eye you guys can see it's actually really pretty it's almost coming off black and I don't know why but it looks cool that's what matters Okay, so there's that. And I'm going to use my Well People 
on the eyelashes. Bend them out a little bit. It is really rainy and yucky out today, and it has been for the last like two or three days, and it's bringing my mood down. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this CoverGirl Dual Ended Lipstick in Intense, and I'm gonna use the brown shade. It's not super pigmented. It's kind of glossy almost. <laughs> So I didn't put any blush on yet, but I'm going to use the color Summer Fling from Makeup Geek and just stipple a little bit of that. I want a somewhat neutral look, if that makes sense. So I don't want anything too crazy. And as this easy cream kind of sits on my skin, it's actually kind of color adjusting. So buff that out. And that is it. That is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you try this look out, let me know. It's kind of just subdued and really pretty. Kind of almost a grunge look, which apparently I was feeling today. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys tomorrow. We are winding down on 25 days of makeup. I am exhausted from it, so I'm probably going to take a slight break from makeup after this. Not from YouTube, just from uh, the makeup. So I'll probably have some hauls. Or a Q&A if you guys submit questions. Hey, you should submit questions. Um, I asked on Instagram a while ago and got like one person to respond. So, yeah. Leave a comment down below and I'll answer your question in the Q&A. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.